Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Coach G Show here at FDUnites.com. We're standing right here in Stratus Arena at the Rothman Center. John Lauder with the head coach of the FDU men's basketball team, Greg Horenda. Coach, how are you? John, great. How are you doing? Doing just fine. So a 2-0 start, just what you guys are looking for, the exciting end-of-the-game three-pointer by the Philadelphia native Mustafa Jones to beat St. Joe's 58-57, then a big win against FDU Florham, uh, the Division Three sister school on Monday. So 2-0, thoughts on the start of the year? You know, you can't do better than 2-0. and if I, if I could, we would try. But really, you know, we had a terrific game at St. Joe's. I mean, it was storybook. And, you know, Mustafa Jones is getting a lot of the credit, and he deserves it. But Xavier Harris made two big buckets late. So it was just a Philadelphia story, really. Uh, and then we came in here and played, I thought, a very competitive game that turned out to be a not a competitive score. Pete Marion and... Uh, the FDU Devils really stretched us out, and they made, you know, they scored 38 points in the first half and made a bunch of three pointers. Second half, we played really much better defense, and I don't know if it's a school record, we're still trying to figure that out, but to have 10 threes and a half is, I, I've, nev I've never been uh, associated with it. So our team has played high level uh, in St. Joe's, played a Division three school in fairly Dickinson form, and now we go to Rutgers, uh, the state university, and now they're in the Big Ten. And, uh, but we're not sneaking up on anyone um, at Rutgers, but we're just uh, very, very happy to, to be 2-0 and be in this position with uh, a team that is really, really excited, played really, really hard. Uh, I, I really like our basketball team. It's a special group. And how big was it for you to see that effort from the team on the road in the first game of the season? Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't surprised, but I was, I was just... I was, I, to be honest with you, I admired my team. I looked out there and I'm like, wow, this is, this is good. We play really hard. And I think, and this is an all due respect to St. Joe's, I think we played harder than St. Joe's and that's what we had to do. You know, when, when you're a, a young basketball team and you're going on the road the first night, you're gonna play hard just because you don't wanna get blown out. But we sustained it for 40 minutes and uh, went from survival to, to uh, Know, taking home the prize and uh, so I, I'm really I, I like my team surprises me this is a team that has young guys they think they're good they really do individually and collectively and but we've got a lot of work to do um, you know for, this is the beginning of the year but it's a, a very very good start now a lot of youngsters we talked about this a bunch already um, and also transfers obviously with Darius Stokes um, Darian Anderson etc how impressed have you been with the way they play? Because it looks like, early on at least, they've really fit in well. Yeah, you know what, they have good basketball minds. Darius' dad was a great player. His sister plays at UConn. He played for Fran McCaffrey at Iowa. So he's been around some really bright coaches, and now I'm coaching him. <laughs> so so uh, I don't know what that says, but I think he knows how to play. Darian Anderson comes from a great basketball family. His brother's an assistant at Penn State, went to the Final Four. So I think we're bringing in and we're attracting basketball people that love the game and come early to practice, stay late. Um, so I'm not surprised at all. And, and I think the players that have been in the program for one year or the Xavier Harris and the Miles are now expanding their game. So you're starting to see the fruition of our program and, and everything that we do on a daily basis. And uh, um, it's, you know, them winning make, you know, gets you excited. So now you want to learn more and get better. And so we're in a good position early, but we still have, uh, we still have a lot to learn. Now obviously, last season's win against Rutgers, one of the most exciting of the year, 73-72, that last second three from Matt McDonald. Get to play them again. They're a young team as well on the road. Some thoughts on that matchup. Yeah, you know, I, I think they're in a transition period. You know, Coach Jordan is a, you know, is a great player, great NBA coach, and great college coach, really smart guy. And now, but they're going to the, this is their third conference in three years. They got some guys injured. They got some new guys. They're running a different system. Um, but that, those are their issues, you know, and they're all good ones. And eventually they're going to be very good. But um, when we go down there, it's, it's, you know, it's blue collar, you know, we're the FTU Devils, you know. Um, the other night we had to beat the Devils and now we have to go beat the Giants and no matter we beat them last year but they're still the Giants they're the Big Ten school they're the uh, the state university and we're the private school uh, 
uh, in the shadow of the Empire State Building. So we got to get on a bus and go down there and and, and play in a big venue and, and represent. And I, I I know my guys will play hard. We have to play harder than Rutgers. We have to play better. And uh, as you saw the other night, John, when that ball goes in the basket, this is a fun team. And we have a number of guys that can put the ball in the basket. But we've got to rebound the ball. That's primary. Uh, uh, our mission tonight is to, to get on the glass and compete and, and fight for every rebound. All right, Coach, as always, thanks. Good luck tonight. John, that was a little bit longer tonight. <laughs> I know we're taking one step at a better. time. But I, I, I have all the time in the world for you. Thank you. So tonight, 7.30, the radio broadcast, I'll be there, so we'll have it on FGUnites.com. And as always, FGUnites.com is the place to be for all your news notes and all the information on FDU men's basketball.